Welcome to Data Solution. Hope you are doing well. In this video, we will learn about update statement. In previous video, we already discussed about insert statement. If you do not watch that video, you can watch from Snowflake SQL playlist in my channel. One request to you: If you find this video helpful, please subscribe your channel and give thumbs up. It is really helpful to grow the channel. Now let's get started with update statement. Update statement modify existing value in a table. Syntax is update. Update is a clause, and then table name after that set then column name what column do you want to update after that equal to value then again column name equal to value as on what column do you want to update you can write here comma separated and then apply here where condition where condition is optional keyword but it is important to apply here any condition with where clause always use primary key column in a where clause to identify single row for updation it is mandatory to use primary key or any unique column with any condition if you use another column might accidentally update multiple row if you duplicate value with where condition now let's demonstrate with example let's create table with employee table with column id first name last name salary department and email address so let's execute this statement table is created successfully inserting sample data into employee table here 10 records inserting into employee table let's validate here you can see here employee table populated with 10 records okay suppose if you want to update employee table where employee id equal to 1 here see employee id equal to 1 and we want department equal to marketing here previously hr now i want to here marketing so we can use here update statement update then we write here table name here table name is in our case employee then column name what column do you want to update here we want update department with hr to marketing and we apply here condition employee id equal to one suppose this is primary key in our case okay so let's execute here one record updated let's validate you see here marketing previously hr now it's become marketing suppose you do not use primary key and use other column for condition and here smith come in here two times so we want department equal to marketing and let's execute here you see two record updated because last name coming two times so both of the smith and its department become marketing so it is important to use any unique column in a table here in our case employee id is a unique column okay you can change or update more than one column at the same time using comma separated here we use update keyword and table name then set here column name equal to 50,000 and department I want here finance for employee ID 5 okay here 62,000 salary previously and uh, here department HR now I want here to update 50,000 and department equal to finance so if I execute this statement you can see here one row updated let's validate 50,000 and finance we can also update a column name with null value suppose i want to update employee id 3 with department equal to null here marketing and now i want to update here null so we can use here update statement one record updated let's validate here department becomes null we can also use subquery in update statement suppose we want to update employee id salary as same as employee id second salary so this subquery gives 55000 and we want here 55000 for employee id 1 so if i execute this statement you can see here one record updated let's validate both of the employee become same salary if you do not use any condition 
then update a statement affect all of the row in a table let's suppose you forget here where condition and accidentally it you update this so it's affect all of the row here you can see a 10 record updated so it is very dangerous and we careful while updating any table so let's see here 24100 all of the employee become suddenly same okay it is a big mistake so that's all about in this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe the channel and give thumbs up thank you for watching have a nice day